I'm very impulsive, okay? And I'm not all there. Babe, we need a fly swatter. <laughs> Is he a Serbian hamster? He's a... <coughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I won't be on long, but instead of, I have like no makeup on, instead of doing a thousand community posts, I thought I would just come on live and talk about everything that's been going on. Yeah, no, everything is okay with Salah and I, this never had, we never had any problems or anything actually. So pretty much just disregard like, sorry my ring, <laughs> everything I said in the community post, I've changed my mind already <clears throat> about what I'm going to do. So basically, I am so sometimes just conflicted. You know, sometimes I miss my family back in Canada. Something, sometimes I miss things about Canada. Mostly the weather right now. <laughs> Salah has the cutest laugh. Whenever he laughs like goofy, he does it on purpose, guys, to make me laugh and you guys laugh. I've heard his, his normal laugh is not as exaggerated. Hi, Joyce! You can hear his normal laugh in some videos. <laughs> I just want to make sure my hair won't fall out here. <laughs> I'm very impulsive, okay? And I'm not all there. I'm like adjusting to a whole new life and then whenever I think that it would be good for me to go back and see my family and I miss my cats a lot so maybe I feel like I want to go get them hi teardrop I then think really about it I realize that I like my life here now like I don't want to leave it um so as it would be harder for me to it would be harder for me to leave Salah and go back to a life that I found very toxic um so I don't want to be tempted with that and I just don't want to leave my husband for months, you know. It's not easy to go back to Canada. Um, I guess I just want to keep on track with my goals and our goals and what I'm doing here and just accept Beth, <laughs> that stupid rat. No. <laughs> he caught himself stuck in a box today. Yeah, reverse BBJ rescue arc. <laughs> I have, that's the thing, Stan. I have to just accept that that's over, that, that the cats are gone. Um, you know, that was a decision I made, not an easy one. Yeah, I'm not leaving. And, you know, I'll see my family again whenever the time is right, inshallah, you know? And just, I keep, you know, forgetting about my faith in God. Like, I need to, like, not let myself be dragged down by the toxic and negativity and the drama and the... All the crap, you know? Crats are free all over Kuwait. <laughs> no, I can't have a cat because we do want to travel, you know? And because whenever I said we've... Even that, I'm impulsive. Whenever I said we've rethought our, our travel plans because I was planning on getting a cat, you know? But I realize that's selfish of me, and I, it's you know I, I do love cats, and I do want one, but it's not it's not a good idea. It's a lot of responsibility, and you know so we could just put them back outside. True. <laughs> Thank you. You guys make me want to cry because I, no matter what I go through, I have you guys to come and talk to. I feel really emotional, and I do you know how I am mentally, and I'm very impulsive, and I'm just not an easy person to deal with, in dealing with myself even. I don't really I, I really don't want to go back to Canada. But um, I had some wild idea that I was going to go rescue my cats and bring them back here. I have, I, yeah, Mimi, I have dreams about them every night. I had a dream that, like, FFG was living with um, somebody on my old street in Cornwall. And um, in the dream, she left to go to work or something. And I, like, stuffed BBJ in Howie's cage and, like, put her in a van <laughs> and took her away. And then I watched, like, some of my old mukbangs at the, the cat intros, you know, and I missed Sam. No, Pete's A plus. Pete's can't take care of the cats. <coughs> it's not in. His, it's not for him right now. So, I think I just have to accept that they're gone, and uh, my life is different. And poor BBJ gone to a cat hater for views and money. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because we don't see videos of her being loved and cared for, you know. And people just automatically just assume I don't give a crap about them. Of course I do. So you know, like I'm always concerned about how she's being. You know, no proof of life. Yeah. So, um, the bottom line is that's, uh, that's not going to happen now. I'm going to be moving on here, staying with Salah. Because Salah is honestly the best thing that's happened to me. And he's very supportive, you know, and he puts up with my impulsiveness. I don't know how. And yeah, part of me. And then I thought, I pictured myself somewhere, you know, in Canada, 
like, no, how can I leave my husband? Like, how can I, I would miss him so bad, you know? And I really, I, that made me really realize, hi Heather, that like my home is where he is, where my heart is literally. And my heart will be broken because I'll always miss my cats, but I have to take that loss. It's just not hard dealing with that, you know, that kind of grief, I guess. And I'm just processing it. And I didn't think I would, it would affect me, you know, but I'm like dreaming about it. <clears throat> and then on top of that, I do miss my grams. I think about like Ottawa and like taking her grocery shopping and stuff. But there's a lot of sad, bad memories in Canada too, you know? You know, I was doing very well and being very happy, just, you know, my channel's gone through changes. It's taken a loss, but I think over time, if I just keep on the right track and stay positive and stay consistent, I think it'll be okay. So I've just been feeling down about those things, I guess just feeling a bit homesick, but that, that passed very quickly because I do realize like this is my home now, you know? I just said why I was thinking of going back, you know? One reason was I thought it would be, you know, mostly just a bit homesick, mostly for the cats to bring, try to bring them here and to see my family and, um, you know, I know people thought it was because my visa was expiring. That's not true. Um, but we're going to travel and I can't leave Salah. I'll miss him too bad. And I'm, I'm really adjusting to my life here to the point where it feels more sad leaving here than going back home, than, than being homesick. So the balance is on this side, you know? And <clears throat> I know people also, I just want to squash the rumor. I saw so many comments I blocked <laughs> that I was going back to like for the trial of you know who and that's absolutely not true i'm actually so surprised that people still think i have anything to do with that person after not even talking about them forever being married for like seven for well five six months but being with someone else for like seven months um someone a million times better i i don't know why anyone would think that i still have any ties it's really weird and sick these people are sick that just seem to want that to happen it's so weird we have a lot of plans and i have to just stay focused on that you know and my goal is to just not, eventually not, I did a mukbang earlier with this hijab, so there might be some mayonnaise on it. <laughs> <coughs> to mention any more of these freaking weirdo people that I can't stand online. Create a the haters cut their karma. That's the thing, like, everything you say or do against someone else is a debt on your, on your name. Including me, if I do that too, you know? But, <clears throat> I think people have a right to defend themselves, but it's just not worth it, you know? So yeah, um, just to recap, what was I saying? <clears throat> That's the whole reason I made that sacrifice and decided to rehome my cats, which a lot of people do rehome their pets. It's not an easy decision. And just because you say it is, doesn't mean you're right. You don't know anything about me. Nobody knows anything about our relationship or marriage. You don't know anything about my status here, which you're not gonna know. That's private information. So keep guessing, that's up to you. The fly, <laughs> go away. And, and um, my bees in circles sm gotten smaller, obviously since Canada, but that's okay, I don't mind. Babe, we need a fly swatter. <laughs> Is he a Serbian hamster? He's a... <coughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> He's a Syrian hamster. Oh, I have a headache. <laughs> Never be serious. <coughs> Do you guys remember when that ladybug flew and hit me in the face? Hi, Yumi. Yeah. You're just a slut yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an omen? Oh yeah, I was eating beezers. That's why my fingers are orange. I was eating barbecue beezers. Salah's laugh is the best medicine. Yeah, I would miss him so bad. I can't leave him. Oh my gosh. And then go on the plane. People think I need to buy two seats. I don't have to. Okay, let me clear this up right now. I always buy one seat and normally it's fine because usually I sit at the window seat and I've been lucky and nobody sat beside me, you know. <clears throat> then one day I picked a wrong seat last minute uh, while I was getting my boarding pass and they put me in a middle seat and that's when it was a problem. And I was like, I don't want to sit in the middle. I'll die. I'm claustrophobic. So at the last minute, because it was last minute, and we were late boarding before I got on the plane. People think that I caused them to like be delayed. No, it took them like two seconds, you know, to like, uh... I always pick a window seat and I can always just like lean on the window more. I won't leave you. Oh. I love you. 
I love you too. <laughs> potato face? <laughs> broad face? Can we go get a, t- a tornado potato? Broad face. Oh, broad face? <laughs> <laughs> He's a who? Yeah, yeah, Stan. I adopt you all these. <clears throat> That's why we're soulmates. He's silly like me. I think I rubbed off on him, eh? <laughs> When I met you, you were more ser- you were so like serious. More serious. And then you kind of I think I rubbed off on you and you became more, <laughs> you know. <laughs> more more open and everything. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> mm. That life is not worth to be sad, you know? Yeah. It's YOLO. You only live once. Just be happy, love. Forget everything. And he's very patient with me because I'm mentally ill. <laughs> and he's so normal, you know, and he's keeps things into perspective for me and calms me down. <clears throat> I think like some people are just obsessed. Like I saw um whenever I made those community posts, what's her face? Shannon left a comment. She's like, I dare you to come to Cornwall. Like, you're 40, you have two kids and you're making threats. Do you want like are you gonna go to jail? Like, what are you gonna do? Beat me up and lose your kid again? Like, that's so ridiculous. I can't stand I'm not like I don't I'm so glad I'm far away from these trashy people, honestly. No, no joke. Did she uh, go to her dog for the vet? Yeah, no. Or maybe shot? Yeah. FFG needs to take your dog to the vet. Get on it. Yella. <clears throat> so immature. Uh, so much behavior on here is, yeah. I'm immature in different ways, but at least I'm trying to better myself. And I'm not f- trying not to focus on these people every day that are obsessed with me, you know? It's the other way around. Don't forget. They're obsessed with my me and not the other way around. I don't ever look at her channel. I don't comment on her things. It's not like that at all. So it's the other way around. Focus on your very much needed attention that you need to give to your kids, and that's it. Uh, hasn't shown her current dog in weeks. People are saying she wasn't BBJ. I just find it weird she never shows BBJ anything, like no video, nothing. It's so weird. It's like she doesn't owe it. Yeah, she does because people have spent so much money supporting her for rescuing BBJ, and you have literally no proof that she's all right. You know what I mean? She fooled her audience outside yeah. BBJ. Never show any video, anything, any live stream, anything. Yeah, knew me. It's like, honestly, and then they all, like, their audience will say, oh, I can't wait for you to be off of YouTube. Are you kidding? Like, what? And then what? You know what I mean? How how are you going to, like, I'm like, your content is literally all about me. Even when you don't do videos about me, you have to put my name in the title to get views. So how, if I disappear, are you going to make any content that nobody cares about, clearly, you know? Uh, the true fact, what's happening, okay, in your world, uh, what I want to start, when they talk shit about you, <laughs> then when you defend yourself, they play uh, victim, you know? Yeah. Like they are victim. Yeah, that's called narcissism. So they drug you, but there are bullshit words they say it about you. Yeah. Then when you reply as defend yourself, oh, <coughs> she is saying blah, 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 you know? Yeah. Well, that's like I saw on, hi, Mike. I saw on like your mama's stream that like just Breeze was crying about uh, somebody talking about her and, and coming for her. You do that to me every video. Are you kidding? Like, what, like, well, what did I do to them? What did I do to you? I, like, seriously. The hypocrisy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, yo, what's up? <laughs> I can't stop being weird and making faces. Even at 80, imagine at 80, I'll be like, mm, with my dentures. Mm. I have a question for T.S.R. <laughs> Okay, um, Sam, but you're still a piece of crap. So even with grandkids, I heard that your kids don't even want to talk to you. So actually, um, maybe that's why. And I heard all your kids are criminals. Nice job raising them. You probably didn't. So that's not a flex. You, anyone can spread their legs, honey. Goodbye. I dressed for the kitchen chair being auctioned on B-Bay last week. <laughs> Who cares if you have grandkids? I know exactly. They think that's a flex. She's saying how he should be judging me. What about your past? You literally have a criminal record for beating an old person. Have several seats on the chair you be- beat that old person with and shut up. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and he's not a real Muslim. I love how all of these people who are not Muslim also <laughs> exactly. have the nerve to <laughs> claim a moral high ground. <laughs> I heard, finally heard for the first time Amberlynn's comment about how she I had to tra- travel uncomfortably <clears throat> around the world to be with my love. Give me a break. I want a tornado potato. <laughs> Just now? <laughs> or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> You're not going to drive all the way there to... No way. Imagine. I kind of like it's stressful, but it's kind of exciting. I love takeoff on the plane. It excites me. It's like cool. It's scary. And I love watching plane crash videos. It doesn't scare me before taking a plane. I don't know why. Tefler got all but one kid taken away. Bad mother. Yeah, exactly. So you had kids. Like some people who have kids shouldn't. So that's not a flex. That's what I heard too. And like her kids are like all criminals because of her. I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah. And that's not attacking people's kids. That's attacking. She attacked my infertility. So don't. Uh, don't cry about it now. Oh, she attacked my kids. No, I attacked your crappy parenting. Um, 
<laughs> which people are allowed to do. If you're on the internet criticizing other people and you're going to talk about their lack of morality, then we're going to obviously turn that mirror back on you, okay? So don't cry about it. You got drunk on the plane? No way you could do that. <laughs> Not when you're traveling in the Middle East. Actually, to some countries, I think you can. They have alcohol, witchy, but I don't... Not here. No, sure, she does have a big one. Oh, the Sarah Jane thing? Like, who cares even if you are losing weight? Like, I don't understand that. Like, same thing with, like, Charlie. Same thing with all of these weight loss... These people who think... Like, that's how uh, What's Her Face started her channel, too. French Fried Fraud. They started their channel by saying they're going to show Amber Lynn and I how to lose weight. They've done nothing but gain since or maintain a high weight. And they have the nerve to come for us for our, our, our dietary habits. Same thing with like, you know what I mean? Same thing with Sarah. Like, are you kidding me? You're going to sit here and be like, I'm losing, I'm losing weight, you know, so I'm better and I have a right to judge you. <laughs> like, no, you're still a piece of crap. Louise, Boozen just insulted your mother and said you had a crappy mother and that she is the mother you wish you had. <laughs> what? You're losing your marbles. Log off. My gosh. Uh, Carla, we're glad that your son now is uh, better. Yeah, He's for in sure. Good health. Yes. Yeah, honestly, like, I wish, what? At least my mother was working hard as a single mother, went to college to support me, and wasn't online bullying other women online all day. So no, try again. Try again. Better luck next time. <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> Did I get veneers? <laughs> I know I said that, eh? People believe me. No. Sometimes veneers can look worse. You ever notice that? Sometimes they make people look like they have chiclets. So I'm, like, afraid to get my teeth done. My teeth have weird characteristics, but I don't know. Actually, uh, teardrop. My mom, uh, when she did, she was uh, 45 years old. 45? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was, like, young. Oh, very young, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's more tragic. Aw, I'm gonna hug you after. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your mom now. <laughs> Bruh, I have whiplash. Are you staying now? Bruh. Yeah. I'm staying. We lost my nephew a year ago. Unfortunately, he was murdered. This world is cruel. It is, yeah. Sorry to hear that again. Yeah, I can't believe that. What people do to each other, never, ever, ever, you know? Like, ugh. Some videos you see and hear about stories, it's so crazy, you know? That's why I just want to stay inside and not risk anything. I'm kidding. <laughs> stay inside in the AC and just chat with you guys and- I will protect you, baby. Aww. <laughs> I got your back. Thanks, babe. Is that your face? <laughs> I do feel very, very safe with you. Like, that's one thing I love so much. You're very protective, you know? Like, some, some men don't even know how to change a light bulb. <laughs> or, like, do anything, you know? Like, sometimes you feel like the men and they're, like, I don't know. I know some people don't believe in gender roles or whatever, but... <laughs> wow, that person has issues. It's okay, she's... she's staying with Salah. <laughs> <She'll see>. <laughs> <laughs> Our indecisive queen, yeah. What if a war breaks out in Kuwait? What if a war breaks out? I don't think that will happen, but... I'll go to war. <laughs> what is your name? Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, um, just worn out, I guess, emotionally from everything. But I guess now I've come to terms with everything and I'm moving on and we're going to keep our plans going. And I love you. Love you too. Happy life. Happy life. Happy wife. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> happy Marty. <laughs> happy Zoji. <laughs> no poo-poo pee-pee. When will the next... <laughs> Um, gym vlog. I don't think I'll be doing gym vlogs because it's hard to vlog there, but I do plan on going tomorrow, so inshallah. The fly. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> I'm like a lizard. <laughs> Alright, I wanna live in freedom. I wanna dance with my demons. I wanna drink for no reason. And celebrate every season Yeah, yo, call my place the kingdom Cause I got what you need Don't forget to subscribe And, and if you like what you no see one. Please buy my merch Link in the description below Let's get some, yeah I hate it